so I just finished drilling these holes for this four inch PVC and it's a two and three quarter inch hole with a three inch net cup using this hole saw from Lennox. And now we're gonna clean it up and I'm gonna sand off the edges and then put the end caps on. So here's the pipe. Cleaned it up and I'm setting in the position and I got these little uh, end caps with the little insert at the end which I offset it so that I could dial in what you know what height I wanted and I'm gonna be using some kind of a latex uh, caulking silicone type stuff so that I can take it apart if I want to you might want to just use the PVC glue that's up to you but uh, I'm not sure how I want to configure it so I might want to take it apart again and this allows me to do that so and same thing for this if I don't glue it in permanently and I want to change the height of the water it's too high or too low for the inlet or outlet I can I can readjust it by turning the uh, so here it is this is my reservoir it's a uh, repurposed waste basket with the, uh, the basket on the inside missing and I have a little tiny little fountain pump and <clears throat> the hose runs up to the top tube and comes on the other side and then down this hose over here and then back to the reservoir so uh, I had to play around with the little differences in the height of the fittings to get the water level right but uh, I have my water a little higher and that's mainly because so we have a lot of power outages here so I want to make sure there's enough water in the system in case the pump shuts off and my hose is very small I'm using a very very low flow uh, pump so if you're going to use a higher flow pump you're definitely going to need a bigger hose or tube or some sort but uh, I'll keep you posted on how it works so here's my uh, tomato plants and I got some pineapple heads here so I'm just going to give you guys an update I've switched over to a uh, watercress so I've gotten some cuttings and I got them the root and here's how it's looking some of them didn't make it but the ones that did they look pretty good it seems really very really well This one doesn't quite have anything yet. Um, some of the ones in the bottom probably look a little bit better. This one's a little one is just starting. And this one's got some roots there. So that's where we're at so far. I'm over here propagating water crust so here you see a little runner there and I get these little twisty ties like the ones you cut from the bags of bread just cut them into little pieces and I make it into like a little flexible staple and what I do is 
put them in a fresh pot and then just kind of gently holding them in place like that and in about a week or so it'll start the root and that's pretty much what I do to propagate here's a quick update on my hydroponics and this is one of my, my larger kale this is a from a cutting from my last batch she's got some nice roots there and the other ones are just little seedlings and I have kale space between these little uh, watercress some of them are small because I harvested them already and the other ones are a little bit bigger because uh, I haven't quite harvested all of them yet but you know, you just cut them back like that and then they grow into a bush again. And I added the little layer of pebbles just underneath this coco koi coir, and then I add uh, a little bit of the pebbles on top to give it some stability because the coco coir is a little bit soft. So they seem, seem to be doing a little bit better. And then I have some in the soil and there's a little piece of celery in the middle there and that's what I have so far and this edible tropical spinach vine I don't know the name of this but uh, I throw that in my smoothies as well here's a look at my kale after a few weeks I've got some that are uh, I'm already harvesting and then I got some little ones that I'm starting seedling, so I kind of have a mix. I still have a few uh, watercress in here, but I'm going to phase them out. And there are the seedlings. And I got one celery right here. And uh, most of them are kale, and I got a few of them in a the pot also, which I'm going to transfer over when I phase out some of these other ones. And that's my edible uh, tropical spinach vine there. So, uh, so that's where I'm at so far. I also added some air lines in here so uh, I can run a little air stone to the middle of the tube.